Can I just say that this menu honestly kind of pisses me off, because I never know which way it's going to be. Like, I always assume that if I hit right here, I'll go left, but it goes right. Anyway, welcome back to Sonic Adventure. Today, we're going to be doing some more of Gamma's story. I think I'm just going to finish it up in this recording session, just because... I don't know. Eh, a little bit easier that way. But for right now, we're going to be getting ourselves an upgrade that's going to make Gamma's story a little bit easier to control. A little, anyway. Hang on. Wasn't it one of these rooms that we had to go to? It did save us going in here, right? Oh, it didn't. Uh, oops. Uh, having fun, Vera? <laughs> well, that explains that. Might as well not even have gone, Vera, that's last time. But yeah, um, because I had that little, like, session of me not doing anything, this is, like, Pretty much the first story in the game, but I'm actually recording, like, everything just as it's about to go up. Uh, this is the wrong room, but it is a spoiler room for where the other upgrade is at. Alright, let's go on the other side then. Oh, hello. Yeah, right here we have... A hover thingo. I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to help Gamma hover, considering it's not even attached to him, but, uh, I mean, okay. Maybe there's, maybe it's supposed to be implied that there's, like, a string there, but we can't see. Like a metal wire or something. Because, keep in mind, this game was not intended to be seen in... 720p like it currently is. I see you got the jet booster. Report to the rear of the ship. Hurry. But yeah, uh just boosters kinda weird. It's not as integral to Gamma's gameplay as it will be to uh the mech gameplay the is somewhat similar to Gamma's gameplay from Adventure 2. But it's definitely something that, if you don't have it, it feels weird to not have it. Like the spin dash from Sonic Story, or um, the, uh, what's it called? The Rhythm Badge, I think it is, from Tales of Story. I'm like digging in Knuckles. Honestly, Knuckles just feels really weird in this one if you played Adventure 2 first, which I did because I played them on GameCube, and for some reason they were released in backwards order on GameCube. How can I serve you, Dr. Robotnik? Eradicate all of those menaces! Give them all you got! Aye, aye, sir. I will comply. I'm counting on you, Gamma! Alright, so, once again, we got ourselves the greatest boss fight of all time! And this time, we don't even have to move. Uh, this is just the same cutscene as all the others, so I'm just gonna skip it, whatever. If you haven't seen that cutscene before for some reason, Amy's like, hey, don't fight. And Sonic and Gamma are like, okay. And they're like, alright, I'm gonna fuck off now. That's basically it. Uh, it gets kind of repetitive seeing the same cutscenes so many times. I guess that's kind of a flaw with the, you know, just with the whole six characters, different perspectives, storyline thing. 
just in general, you tend to see the same stuff a lot. Anyway, um, now we're on the real Mita Gamma story, and with it, the part where the cutscenes stop being, like, the entire story. So, right now, we just have to take care of the five remaining E-Series robots. And to do that, we have to go to the levels each of them are in. The first one being Windy Valley. And, uh... Yeah, much like Emerald Coast, which we did last time, you're gonna see a pattern of, at least with the first two, of each level being kind of just a part of Sonic's story, but smaller. Although this part of Windy Valley is actually exclusive to Gamma, I believe. It's like... Sonic starts a little ahead. I think about... Yeah, once we like drop down from here, we'll be in this part where Sonic starts Windy Valley at. And... Hang on. I oh, can't mess with the audio balance from here. Because for some reason, it's like... I don't know if it'll show up this way on your end, because I'm using kind of fucky headphones for this, but... On the, uh, on my end, it sounds like Gamma's voice clips are really muffled, and I can barely hear them over the rest of the game. In fact, does this game even have, like, proper, uh, audio settings? Oh. And yeah, those guys are kind of traps. So, um, don't shoot anything on a bridge, basically. But hey, speaking of shooting, here's E103, uh, I can't read Greek letters, and I don't remember which one that is. Alright, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity to look up their names so I don't look like an idiot for the rest of these. This will load eventually, I imagine. Alright, uh, I think I heard Gamma say that guy was Delta, so... There you have it. Like, I knew all these names at one point, but now the only ones I remember are Gamma and Beta, because they're the most iconic ones, I guess. Also, this part always trips me up because I keep thinking for some reason that the next level with Gamma is going to be Ice Cap because he's like the only one who goes here if it doesn't go to Ice Cap at any point, except Knuckles. It's a little weird. He's also the only one who doesn't actually need to do anything here, interestingly enough. Alright, so... So, here we've got to stop Epsilon, or I'm sorry, save Epsilon by uh, shooting him to death. It makes more sense eventually. In fact, you know what, I'm just going to spoil this, because this is a fucking, like, 21-year-old game at this point. If you haven't played it, you're not going to play it, probably. And if you're watching this, you've probably already played it. Like, let's be real. But, um... Yeah, the idea here is that... It's not so much that Gamma's saving the robots, as it, it's that he's saving the birds trapped in the robots. Because I guess he kind of just realized that, uh... The other robots and himself are all, uh, they have birds inside of them, basically. 
Uh, you know how, like, the comics kind of framed it, basically, and how I think was originally intended by the, intended by the Genesis games, but don't quote me on that. It's just pretty clearly hinted in those. But, um, like, just the idea is that, like, all of the robots that Eggman has are just animals implanted into a robot suit to, like, basically act as the brains of the robots, give them sentience, and make them murder machines. Literally. Anyway, here we are at Epsilon. Yeah, this one you kind of have to aim a little bit in, generally, just because, like, Epsilon kind of moves around a little. Sometimes I have to do that with Delta 2, but not usually. Yeah, like, that's genuinely the optimal strategy, is just to sit still and mash X. Accomplished. E-105 Zeta. E-101 Beta. Location unknown. Perhaps aboard the egg carrier. So, uh... Those two guys we fought just now were basically the same fight. I should point out that Zeta's is actually going to be a bit different. In fact, a lot different, but still pretty freaking easy. That being said... The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Um, I don't remember if we go to the bottom area down there to get to the egg carrier, or if we, like... Um, let's see. Let's take a chance. I'm gonna go down the fun way, because... Because I want to. Okay, there is a raft down here. Okay. That saves us some trouble. E series data. Beginning search. Accessing data. Hot shelter. E series location confirmed. Unlocking hot shelter sector now. Alright, so just got hot shelter to go. And, um, which way do we go to get there? I think it's currently in the, uh, go anywhere formation, right? Yeah, okay. Um... Well, I guess it worked out. Anyway, um... Right now, four fat all settled. Gotta get our upgrade for Gamma. Here's your laser blaster. Its blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. I'm not entirely sure what this does, honestly. Like, I always think, oh, it's that thing where you, like, just tap a button and it fires, but that's not in this game. That was something they added for Adventure 2, and you have that from the start, I believe. But anyway, those are, I believe, the only two upgrades that Gamma has in this game, so...